So today we're gonna to be talking about the all important subject of how to get over an ex. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's happening in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. And before I get started, it is coming to an end, my birthday, and I just wanna send out a huge thank you to all of you beautiful Rewired Soldiers out there for leaving comments and tweeting at me and DMing me and all sorts of stuff, wishing me a happy birthday. You are all amazing, I thank you so much. All right, so yeah, anyways, uh, we're gonna be talking about this. Um, this is something I've been thinking about for a little bit. I got some DMs and everything, but I, you know, I saw this going on. And yeah, we're gonna be talking about Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash, but more importantly, like this isn't, you know, necessarily about Trisha Paytas. This is for context. Like I can definitely relate and I feel for the girl. Like breakups are hard, okay? They are difficult, but I was actually just um, a guest on a podcast, which I'll be sharing with all of you on social media once it goes up, I think Monday, but anyways, but we were talking about like getting over relationships, especially like relationships where they were toxic or even emotionally abusive and everything like that. And then this came up and I'm like, oh, all right, let's make a video and let's, let's talk about this. So first, the other day I saw this on the Instagram stories. <laughs> And then just now came this tweet that says, including effing with people's emotions till they end up in a mental hospital, there are no boundaries, heart for the vlog, woo. All right, so most of you, you know, you, you were able to witness what was Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash's relationship. It was extremely toxic and it is best for the both of them that they are separated. Now, one of the things is, is like we need to talk. Um, when it comes to like these breakups, like, like one thing I just do want to speak about real quick in regards to Trisha Paytas, I don't think it's right to talk about, you know, you drove me to a mental hospital, like because of a breakup, you know, we, we all take things like how we're going to take them, you know, like, although this was a toxic relationship and it was both of them going at each other, I don't think anything, well, at least what we saw was, okay, this is gonna put you in a mental hospital. Like, a lot of you out there know, if you've ever been in, in an abusive relationship, you know what, like, a truly, like, super abusive relationship looks like, right? Now, this isn't to discount Trisha Paytas' experience because a lot of people, when you go through that breakup, it is like a grieving process and you can, you know, abuse substances and all sorts of other things. But first, let's talk about that. Like something I've, I've noticed, you know, since Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash broke up is something that a lot of us deal with, right? And here's, here's what I see, right? A lot of us want the pain to go away. A lot of us want the hurt to go away, right? But here's what we all need to realize about a breakup. Like, it's going to hurt. It is supposed to hurt. Right? Like, this is something I had to realize. Like, when you are dating somebody for a long time or whatever it is, like, it's supposed to hurt, you know? Especially if you were with them for a long time or if you were living with them or whatever it is. Like, I've talked to people who have gotten, like, divorced, right? From their, their wife or their husband. They were together for years. And, you know, when you're with somebody for years or months or however long it is, like, think about it. How can you expect that pain or that hurt to go away like that, right? So the best suggestion I can give to anybody out there who might be struggling with a breakup is like, honor your emotions. Like, know like, this this is supposed to happen. You know, I talk to people all the time, like, especially when it comes to crying, like, I do not know why people feel so bad about crying. Like, cry, let it out, girl. Like, it is a cleanse. Crying is a cleansing experience. Don't judge yourself for crying, especially when you're grieving, right? If you lose somebody in your life, not only if they, they pass away, but even a relationship like that is a type of grieving. It is a type of loss, 
all right? So the other thing is what Trisha Paytas is doing, kind of looking at Jason Nash's stuff, like, this is something a lot of us do. So my, my biggest suggestion in that aspect is like a detox, a cold turkey detox, right? Like we are causing our own misery a lot of times. Like I've done that stuff in the past. You might've done it well. Like, let me know down in the comments below, like, are you still following exes or like, do you still like look at their Facebook pages or whatever it is? Because like the best thing we could do is unfollow them, block them if you have to. Like I was talking to somebody the other day about how going back to these relationships or, you know, still wanting or fiending for it, right? It's almost like an addiction. So when I was working at the drug and alcohol treatment center, or even just, you know, when I work with other drug addicts and alcoholics, like, you know, outside of the treatment center, something that's like the first thing you do is you go in your phone, okay? And you remove all of your drug dealer's phone numbers, okay? You get rid of them, you get rid of all of that stuff. Any bad, toxic friends that you have that are only keeping you around to drink or use or party or whatever it is, you get them out of there, right? That way you're not even tempted, okay? So if any of you are struggling with this and you wanna go the extra mile, like I highly recommend that you research apps like the Moment app or even the Freedom app, all right? It will block specific websites so you can't get to them, okay? So what happens is if you're like creeping on an ex's profile or whatever it is, like you have to take extra steps just to check it out and see what's going on there, okay? But a lot of times it's, it's difficult to heal through that process if you're still looking at this stuff all the time. And this, like, I don't know if you've ever been through this, but I've met other people, thank God it's never happened to me, where they were living with the person and then they broke up and they stayed living together. Like that is hard, right? Like it's almost like when you have a wound and you don't give it time to heal, like you're still just leaving that wound open. You know what I mean? So in a lot of these situations, especially just with relationships or anything in life, we have to check in with ourselves and say, am I causing my own misery? All right? So the last thing, the last thing is, I don't expect everybody to be able to do this like quick, easy detox, all right? So the last thing that we need to talk about is understanding, like if we're gonna do it, it's going to hurt. Like way back in the day, long before I was with my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, right? Like back in the day, like I would do that. I would go and I would like lurk in on exes, like their social media profiles and stuff, and it would hurt, it would be painful. And then I would just have to like kind of laugh at myself, like what did you expect, Chris? Like what did you expect? Like it's almost like right when that wound was healing, you're like, you know what? I wanna just like peek back inside of it, right? So if you are going to do that, like recognize that it's gonna hurt. And you know, um, I was looking through the comments on Trisha Paytas' tweet and everything like that. And a lot of people are, you know, saying like, yo, back off and you know, whatever. But anyways, we have to learn, like we have to learn that that stove is hot. Like this is how we develop like good new habits by noticing like, okay, this feels good and this feels bad. Like the bad thing, we stay away from it. So like, if this is you, if this is something that you, you can relate to, because this is the number one reason why I make my YouTube videos, because I see this and I see so many people judging somebody like Trisha Paytas, right? And I'm like sitting there, I'm like, how many of you are doing the same thing? Or how many of you have friends who are doing the exact same thing? Like, what is the use of watching YouTubers or celebrities or watching movies or TV shows if we're not taking a look at it and saying, okay, wait, am I doing this in my own life? Like, and if you can't relate to this in, you know, the form of like a breakup or anything like that, like look at it with boundaries, like with friends or family members, because sometimes we have to cut other people out of our lives. There have been friends that I've had to get out of my life and I've had to block them or unfollow them just so I wasn't reminded of the pain and the hurt that they caused me. And I guess the last thing I'll say on that note is, this doesn't mean that you can never have a relationship with that person again, like as far as like a friendship. If any of you have been following my channel, I don't believe in getting back with exes. But anyways, like, but it takes time to heal. And again, like you're not gonna have that time to heal if you keep 
enduring the pain of looking at their social media or staying in contact with them or anything like that. Like, for example, when it comes to Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash, like they're both YouTubers, might run into each other, you know what I mean? So maybe if she was able to distance herself from even looking at it for a while, maybe later on they could develop a friendship. But right now, everything's still fresh, she's still pretty upset, and maybe they wouldn't, because I just remembered, like, she kind of said that he cheated on her, so maybe they shouldn't develop a friendship later on. But for you, you out there, if you're watching this, like, if if it's a, a breakup that was, like, amicable or whatever, maybe you'll develop a friendship later on. But when the wound's still fresh, get your heel on, all right, and then come back to that later, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below, is this something that you struggle with or you struggled with in the past, causing your own pain by lurking on their social media or whatever it is? Let's have a conversation down below, all right? But anyways, thanks again for all the birthday wishes. You are all amazing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, help support what I'm doing here and get access to some other perks and benefits, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.